Hi guys, Chris here from Mat4 Tech. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to install Oxygen OS 2.1.4 on the OnePlus One using the TWRP requirement. The default method mentioned by the OnePlus team uses an Oxygen recovery to install it, and I've created a video how to do so. You can find the link to the video on the top right hand corner. In the previous video, I had received lot of comments. where people are suggesting they are having issues installing the oxygen os 2.1.4 using the oneplus one suggested methods so in this video we are going to see how to do so using the twrp recovery this method will only work if you are having a twr recovery version 2.8.6.0 now let's see the device that we have here is actually running a cyanogen mod os which is the default rom It is based out of 5.1.1, and it is the latest version in the Cyanogen 12.1 version. While we are here, let's enable the developer mode by tapping seven times on the build number. We have enabled the developer mode. Let's go in and first disable update Cyanogen recovery option. This is quite important. Next up, let's enable USB debugging. This will allow us to send commands into our phone. Let's also check if the device is rooted. It is not. To install Oxygen OS, we need four files: Android SDK zip, the Oxygen zip file, the TWRP image, and then a Super SU file for rooting the rooting the phone. The links to all these files are available in the video description. Only important thing is we need to make sure we are downloading the TWRP 2.8.6.0 image. since this zip file only works with this particular twrp version we can also download the super su file for rooting it the oxygen zip file is available in my google drive the links to which is available in the video description i have also included the md5 file which has the md5 number in case you want to install this using a fast boot mode once you have downloaded all the files move all the files to a common location then unzip the android sdk slim zip file into a separate folder once unzipped copy the twrp image file into the android sdk platform tools folder make sure you are copying it into the right folder and paste the image now holding shift right click on any open area in the folder and click on open command prompt here Now let's go back to our phone and connect the USB cable onto the device. Come back to our PC and type ADB devices in the command prompt. You should have your devices listed. There will be a daemon running checking for all the drivers. Make sure the required drivers are installed. We could see the device listed is actually stating it is unauthorized. Now we need to authorize this device. Let's go back to the phone. There will be a pop up on your screen. Select the checkbox saying always allow and press okay. This will actually authorize the command prompt to send commands via USB cable onto your phone. Now, retype ADB devices just to make sure the device is authorized. Now you could see the device listed is actually authorized. It says as device rather than unauthorized as shown above. Next up type adb reboot bootloader this will actually reboot your device into a fast boot mode you could see the fast boot screen in your phone now type in fast boot devices this will make sure your device is actually in the fast boot mode and all the required drivers are available the device will be listed in the fast boot mode below next up we are going to unlock the bootloader If your device bootloader is already unlocked, please ignore this step. To unlock the bootloader, in the command prompt, type fastboot oem unlock. Make sure all the text mentioned are in lower case in to work. Unlocking the bootloader wipes all the data in the phone. So make sure before doing this step, you have backed up all your data. At least create an Android backup. Once the bootloader is unlocked the device will reboot and this reboot will take longer this is since all the data are wiped and this is rebooting for the first time as a fresh boot 
since this is a fresh boot it will take longer all the android apps will be optimized before booting in and once booted in you don't have to sign into your cyanogen mod or the google account since we will be wiping the devices before installing the oxygen os so just skip everything and go to your main screen and in your main screen now we need to enable the developer mode so go into settings about phone and tap on the build number 7 times to enable the developer mode in the developer options go in and the first thing we need to do is disable the update cyanogen recovery option this is very important make sure this tab is switched off next up enable android debugging once done go back to our home screen let's now come back to the pc and in your pc now go to the folders where you have downloaded all the required five files and from the folder copy the update super su file onto your phone and make sure you copy this file to the root directory of your phone so that it is easier when being installed next up copy the oxygen zip file that we have downloaded from the google drive onto the root of the folder again make sure you are copying the correct oxygen zip file which should be installed via the twrp now let's come back to our command prompt next up type add reboot bootloader this will actually take your device into the fast boot mode again but this time since the bootloader is unlocked we can directly flash the recovery before this make sure the twrp image is available inside the platform tools folder and also make sure the version is 2.8.6.0 because other twrp recovery versions may be incompatible with this zip file now type fastboot flash recovery and then type tw and press tab this will automatically bring up the twrp recovery image file name press enter this will install your twrp recovery version 2.8.6.0 onto your phone Let's now go back to the device. First up, unplug the USB cable. And next up, hold the power button long enough to switch the device off. Make sure the device does not reboot and you are switching the device off. If the device reboots, we might have to repeat the last step of installing the TWRP recovery once again. So, we should not allow it to reboot. Once the device is powered off, now press the volume down button and the power button and hold them together until you get an vibration and the one plus symbol now leave the device this will actually boot in to the twrp recovery for the first time it might take a couple of seconds but do not worry leave the device alone as a final step of the twrp installation now we need to install the super su file once it is into the recovery go into install and select the update super su file that you have copied to your root directory make sure you have selected the correct file and then swipe to flash this will take few seconds once it is flashed go back to your home screen next up we need to wipe the device go into wipe and select advanced wipe here select dalvik cache system data and then cache Make sure you do not select the internal storage. This is quite important. Now swipe to wipe the data and the reset it to the factory mode. Now go back to your home screen. Select install and choose the oxygen zip file which you had copied to the root directory. And then swipe to confirm flash. This should also take only few seconds to come back. Once the installation is successful make sure you wipe the dalvik cache this is very important to make sure there is no redundancy in the previous step next step go back and then select the update super su file to install again this will make sure our oxygen os is rooted before even the first boot now once again make sure we do the wipe dalvik cache go back and reboot the system This will be the first reboot into the Oxygen OS. This will take longer. Let me go back and do the setup and come back to you with the proper home screen. Let me sign into this phone using the Matt for Tech account. And once signed in, we need to go through the steps 
for initial setup into the oxygen os like enabling shelf choosing the on screen buttons and double tap to wake and so on voila we are into oxygen os let's just go into settings to confirm this is the latest oxygen os 2.1.4 based on android version 5.1.1 let me go back and install the root checker to confirm this is actually rooted. We are going into the root checker, verifying root and voila, we get the root access. So this is how to install a pre-rooted Oxygen OS via the TWRP recovery. Please make sure you are using the right TWRP recovery version since incompatible versions are causing lot of other issues including the SIM capability. Hope you found this video useful. If so, please do leave a thumbs up. I am also planning to make a small review video on Oxygen OS including some benchmarks and camera samples. So be subscribed. If you have any questions, you can always reach me out via Twitter at Matfotech or do write to me via the comment section down below. Until then, good day, take care, bye bye.